So, uh, why do so many expats go in the Philippines? The reality is, you've got 12 hours of sunshine a day, you've got some beautiful beaches, you've got easy connecting flights internationally, uh, you've got some absolutely stunning women um, that are looking for a husband. Um, and on top of that, cheap beer um, and relatively cheap um, living. If you live locally, you can live cheap. If you live with an ex expat, Western food and everything else, it's getting expensive. But you have a lifestyle that fits most budgets. You can adapt from one to the other. Um, I know people are living on virtually nothing. I know people that are building beach, beach lot apartments and stuff. There's a complete spectrum there and the budgets are completely different, but it suits those people's lifestyles. Now, relationship wise, Philippine women are not only beautiful, but often, I say more than often, pretty much always have this positive vibe about them. Always happy. Even when things aren't really great, they have a positive, upbeat attitude. Some people say childlike, but I, I don't think it's childlike. I think it's more um some of us is drummed in with the old christian stuff where they look on the positive side of everything so they generally don't get pulled down with it you know so as such they're always positive people to be around filipinos generally are like that you'll find a lot of them are very positive a lot of them want to be your friends they're very social people um they have no issue with you whatever wherever you come from they're not um, trying to create an issue. See, I keep hearing this thing about, oh, Filipinos are the most racist in the planet. I think people just don't understand Filipinos. Um, most Filipinos I know couldn't care less what anybody's doing. In the West, I know people that hate to have um, immigrants living next door. I know uh, people that detest people from this country they're taking our jobs and all this sort of stuff filipinos do not care so are they less racist than all of these people i would say yes because they simply aren't interested um so from that point of view they ain't going to be on a, harassing you because you're from another country if anything they're more likely to befriend you because they're they're excited to have a new friend that's from far away you know it's positive um there's that whole positive thing and a lot of guys like myself i'm not um too interested in uh meeting lots of western people i don't go to the expat hangouts and that sort of thing i am culturally interested in what other people are doing so i do go to uh like where we are in Nidia. i may not see an expat for two three months or even six months, it doesn't bother me. I'm quite happy with the people around me. Um, my wife's family and my family, you know, that's my community. I don't need the expats around me. They are not. It's, that's one of the things, you know, Philippines is like that. You know, you, you can, you do get sometimes where you do want to talk about politics or something like that, but you can meet up with people every three, six months if you want to. But personally, I'm quite happy uh, with my Philippines life. Um, I do have a few friends that live right nearby, but sometimes even though they're living nearby, everyone's busy doing their own thing. But the whole point is, that's another aspect. The, the Philippines lets you do what you want. Um, a lot of people retire there because they can um, settle down with somebody beautiful that they love. Um, they can get a little house together, which is within their their pension budget. They can have a little um, piece of piece of heaven for them, a little piece of paradise. Uh, waking up with the sun, sun every day, having somebody beautiful next to you, and enjoying life. Who wouldn't? And that's why a lot of the expats are there.
Um, and a lot of people wouldn't say, oh, it's because full of beautiful women. All of that is because it's full of beautiful women. Most of the guys you'll come across are there to meet beautiful women. Um, but it's not just the per being beautiful, it's the personality. Um, I will say, personally, I think the West has messed up its ideals with um, what is equality and what is uh, sexist and what is this because I think people just need to keep niggling at things all the time it's like somebody nagging in your ear constantly pulling at your rights changing this changing that and you don't need it as a guy I know myself I was quite happy to stay single um, April will tell you uh, because before I went to the Philippines we'd, we'd been talking for nine months I wasn't in a rush I wasn't even looking for to meet anybody um, I'd come out of a long-term relationship after 11 years and um, I was quite happy just to say you know what I'm quite happy being single because when when I split paths I would had money in my pocket again I'd had um, the freedom of doing whatever I want I was looking at buying a Porsche I was like looking at buying a flat in uh, Birmingham in, in the city center because uh, I was working in that area at the time my life was uh, pretty good um, and then I met my now wife and we've been happy ever since anyway this, even when we have had little cash we've been happy um, but the whole point is that's why a lot of expats come to the Philippines and that's why a lot of them live there retire there and eventually die there sometimes because they're with the people they love all right, thanks for watching.